Hey yogis, welcome to this uh, vinyasa flow class today. So this isn't going to be an overly crazy vinyasa flow, like not one of those ones where we go, oh my goodness, let's get rid of every single drop of energy that we've got. There's going to be a little bit of grounded connection to breath, uh, but there is going to be about three or four flows through uh, vinyasa with a sun salutation where we do elevate the heart rate just a little bit. So if you like, make sure you've got some water nearby and I welcome you to roll out your rubber rectangle and join me in this next flow. So just coming to seated, um, I'm seated on a block here and you can either take uh, Sukhasana or half Padmasana, completely up to you, just find a comfortable seated space. Close down the eyes, allow the hips to ground into the earth. Rest the hands upon the knees, and I've taken Chin Mudra, which is the forefinger tucked underneath the thumb, the forefinger a representation of the ego, and the thumb the higher self. So in this mudra, we are bowing the self or the ego to the higher self. So just a gentle tuck of the chin into the chest. Allow the crown of the head to lift high lengthening through the back body not doing anything too much with the breath just yet allowing yourself to be in this space coming into the four corners of your room onto the four corners of your rubber rectangle hear the sounds around you the birds Maybe your loved ones in the background, tinkering cutlery, doing home study. Maybe someone's cleaning up the fridge for you. And just notice those sounds and the joy that they bring to your heart, knowing that these beautiful things exist around us. Allow yourself to let go of those sounds as they go on in the background. Bring your attention to your breath. Following the journey of the breath in through the nose, down the back of the throat, into the lungs as the rib cage expands, allowing the belly to rise and fall, falling back towards the spine as the breath continues its exit journey from the body. Slowing down the breath elongating the inhale and exhale maybe using counting to increase the length of the inhale and exhale the inhale creating space in the body and the exhale allowing you to explore the space that you create inhale creating space the exhale also allowing you to surrender and occupy that space that you create. You're going to take formal rounds of breath here. Grounded, centered, calming breath. Two more rounds of breath. Release the hands down by the hips, take an inhale, reach the arms up high, press the hands, palms together. Now as you exhale, bring the hands back through heart center, gentle humble bow of the head, release the hands down to the side body, inhale, think of something that magical that brought you joy today, just one thing, and as you exhale, send that joy and gratitude out into the world. Release the hands, inhale, arms reach high, press the hands, palms together, think of that beautiful thought that brought you joy and as you exhale, send that joy out into the world because the world could use a little more joy right about now. Let's do that two more times, it's called happiness hunting. Inhale, reach for joy. Exhale, send that joy out into the world. One more round. Inhale, reach for joy. Exhale sharing that joy with the world. Release the hands down by the side body, drop the head over to the right side, reach that left arm away, stretching into the neck, releasing tension in the neck and shoulders. Maybe a little gentle movement here until you find that sticking point in the neck and when you find that, stop there. 
take a breath, inhale and exhale. Release that right hand down to the earth, lift the left hand up and over, reaching all the way to the wall as far as you can, stretching down the side body, opening up into the intercostals. See if you can keep that left hip grounded and connected to the block, the bolster or the earth as you reach the fingertips away, a little gentle bend into that right arm that's offering support. As you inhale, gently draw the elbow back and reach a little bit further. Two more breaths here. Inhale, creating space in the side body and the exhale allowing you to surrender and occupy that space. Inhale, back to centre, left hand comes down to the earth, drop the head to the left side. Feel that stretch into the left side of the neck, sorry, the right side of the neck. Gentle movements here until you find that sticking point. And you're gonna stay here and breathe, inhale. Maybe walking that right hand away on the earth, feeling a little extra stretch there. The next breath, please that right arm come up and over, reaching towards the left side of the room. A little adjustment with the hand if you need to. Sending this right hip down into the earth, remaining trying to keep that connection of the hips grounded and connected to the earth there. Inhale, reach over to the left side of the room, lengthening and stretching in between all the ribs into the intercostal muscles. Gentle gaze towards those fingertips. Inhale, creating space, exhale, allowing you to go a little deeper. Two more breaths here. Inhale and bring it back to centre. I'm just going to take this block out from underneath my seat. Now I'm going to come into Sukhasana, easy seated pose, legs crossed. Take an inhale breath and just connect the hips and ground the sit bones into the earth. Hands out in front and gently walk the hands forward, feeling a little bit of lengthening through the back body. And as I exhale, just allowing the head to surrender here. Maybe your head is connected with the earth. Maybe your head is just hanging. Wherever you are in the stretch, just take another four breaths here. The inhale, breathing all the way into the back body and allowing yourself to feel that place, space being created in the back ribs. As you exhale, allow yourself to settle and surrender. Two more breaths here. Gentle lift of the head, walking the hands over to the right side, resting the body on top of the thigh here, and the left hand coming all the way over the top, feeling that stretch again into the side body. Breathing deep into the belly and allowing yourself to relax over the top of that leg, feeling that stretch down the side body. Two more breaths here. Inhale and walk the hands back to centre. Hands can come a little bit back towards the shins and you're going to cross the legs over the uncomfortable way, the fun way and then the more fun way, right? Hands out in front again and just start to walk the body forward. So feel yourself rest and relax here. A little gentle stretch, maybe in the shoulders, in the lumbar spine. Allow your body to relax. Find out where the tension is and allow that tension to release. The inhale is creating space in the body and the exhale allowing you to surrender. Three more breaths here. Inhale into the back body. Exhale, release. Gently lifting the head, walking the hands all the way over to the left. And that right hand comes on top of the left. One side might feel a little tighter than the other. Ooh, that would be me. Exhale and release down. See if you can find that little twist that's going to bring the belly over the thigh. And try and keep sending that right hip down towards the earth, grounding the sit bones there and feeling the opening through the side body. Three more breaths here.
inhale, lift the head, walk the hands back to center and extend the legs out in front. Give the legs a little bit of a, a shake here or you can windscreen wiper the legs, a little bit of a shake. We're gonna take our left leg up and over our right leg for half shoelace. So a little bit, of, a little bit more hip opening here. The knife edge of the foot's on the floor. Shift that left foot over to the left side of the mat. What is this? This is my right foot over to the left side of the mat. <laughs> Inhale, ground the sit bones down to the earth. Important to keep both sit bones here grounded and as you exhale, start to lengthen through the back body and bring the elbows and the forearms down to the earth if you can. If not, and you're still back here, perfectly fine. It's wherever you are today is exactly where you are meant to be. So you can try and keep pulling these toes back towards the face and lengthening through the hamstring, pressing the back of the leg into the earth. Inhale, create a little length in the spine. Exhale, surrender the body down towards the leg. Four more breaths here. Inhale, creating space in the back of the body. Exhale, allowing you to surrender. Two more breaths. Inhale, gently walking your hands back towards the hips. Take that foot, place it on the outside, the abductor here. Grab hold of your knee. Give yourself a little twist, gazing over that left shoulder towards the back of the room. Inhale, create length through the spine. Exhale as you gaze and twist a little deeper into this space. Try pulling this left hip, sorry, this right hip back and down as to keep both um, hips grounded on the earth and to keep the, keep the hips even and equal and squared onto the earth. That way you're twisting more into the back and not allowing that work to take place in the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen the twist, two more breaths. Exhale, back to center, release the right foot to the right, left leg comes out in front, right leg over the top, center that over to the other side, maybe you can go a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen through the back body, Exhale, allow the body to rest down onto that leg. Lengthen, draw the crown of the head away from the neck, so away from the spine, so you're lengthening through the back body, crown of the head drawing high. Flexing those toes, pulling them back towards the knee. Inhale, lengthen the back body. Exhale, surrender. Gentle tuck of the chin to the chest here, but try not to curl through the body in this particular variation. We're trying to lengthen through the body and create some length as well in our hamstrings as we press that leg into the earth. Two more breaths here. Inhale into the back ribs, exhale, deepen that surrender. As you tune in to the body in this space, you can feel all those little bits letting go. It's such a nice stretch when you give yourself the space to just be here. One more breath. Inhale, walking the hands back, right foot, left leg back to centre, wrap the arm around and give yourself a little twist, grounding both sit bones into the earth, lift up and lengthen through the back body as you grab hold of that leg, gentle twist, looking over the right shoulder towards the back of the room, trying to pull this left hip back towards the back of the mat, so you're twisting into the spine and not allowing the shift in the hips to deepen the twist. One more breath here, inhale, lengthen through the back body. Exhale, gaze a little further over that shoulder. Inhale, come back to centre, cross the feet over, roll onto the knees, come into your tabletop position, hands like starfish into the mat. So I'm going to take this watch off. Hands like starfish into the mat, press the hands, press the shins, Lengthen through the back body as you feel the stability of this posture, very grounded and connected. Inhale, allow the belly to drop as you gaze towards the sky. Exhale, roll through the spine, tuck chin to chest. Inhale, belly down. 
Exhale, roll through the back. Press the hands, palms start doming through the shoulders. Inhale, belly down. Open through the throat chakra. Exhale, roll through the spine. One more round, inhale, belly down. Exhale, press, lift and roll through the back body. Inhale and come back to neutral. Lift the left leg up and over. Push that block out of the way. Take it over to the right side and gently gaze over towards that foot. Sending the hips in the opposite direction. Pressing both hands into the earth and lengthening through the side body. Holding here for three more breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Bringing that foot up and giving yourself four little presses here. Activation of the glutes for one, two, draw belly to the spine, three and four. Take that leg out to the side, right hand down onto the earth. Open up through the side body. Gentle press of the hips as we release into the sides. Reach, reach, reach with the fingertips away from the knife edge of the foot, lengthening all the way down the side body. Two more breaths. Reach that left arm up to the sky and take a baby half moon here. A little activation, a little lift, activating in the core, maybe a little bit of glutes. Bend into that top arm, bend that back leg, and here we have a little balancing with our baby sugar cane, opening the heart space and maybe gazing towards the sky. Two more breaths. Press and kick that leg into the hand. Inhale back to baby moon. Release that foot down to the earth. Refind that so a side stretch, gently pulling that elbow back behind the ear, gentle press of the hips. Exhale, hand release, come back, tabletop. Inhale, lift the right leg up and over, place that behind you, press both hands in the mat, gaze towards the toes, send the hips in the opposite direction. Press the hands, lengthen through the back body, gaze towards the feet. Two more breaths here. Press and lift. Stretch a little deeper. Inhale, lift that foot. Take it up behind you. And here we have those five pulses for glute activation. One, two, three, four, five. Leg out to the side. Hand down to the earth, so the hand is just opposite the knee there. Inhale, lift up and over, creating that stretch down the side body for the psoas. Really reach the fingertips away. Gentle press of the hips forward if you need to intensify the stretch. And breathe. Two more breaths here. Increase the stretch by pressing the hips gently forward. We're going to reach that right arm high, coming to our baby Adha Chandrasana, balancing here. You can gaze towards the hand, or if you're feeling courageous, you can gaze, gaze towards the sky. You can stay here, or you can take this variation of sugar cane, bending the foot, bending the arm, kicking the foot into the hand, opening up through the heart space, and gazing away from the knee. Two more breaths here. Opening the heart space. Returning back to baby half moon. Exhale, release that foot down to the floor. Back into that psoas stretch. Little gentle shift of the elbow behind the ear as you gaze towards the sky. Exhale and release back to tabletop. Press the hands into the earth here, a little bit of core activation. Press the shins into the earth, lift the knees for five, four, three, two, one. 
four, three, two, one. Release, sit back on the heels. Interlace the hands behind the back and press the hands, palms into the earth. Tuck the chin into the chest. Press the hands, lengthen through the spine, feeling the heart lift. So this little activation of the core that we're going to come back into is really beautiful to bring into your practice. Not only does it create tapas or heat within the body, but it also strengthens your arm balance game because it's the activation that we want to see as you move into crow, which we might come to a little later during our practice. So hands, palms press into the earth, starfish the hands, shins press and activate the core. So you're gonna shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips. Lift for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Sit back onto the heels. Interlace the hands behind the back. Hands, palms press into the earth. And this time you're going to take a little variation of the baby camel here. Dropping the head back and opening through the heart space. Two more breaths. Inhale, chin to chest, last round of this core activation. Hands, palms, plant. Shins press, knees lift. Activate the core, shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips. Dome up through the shoulders for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees, sit back, interlace the hands behind the back, press the hands, palms into the earth, open the heart space towards the sky, inhale and release back. Two more breaths. Inhale, chin to chest, come back, find your tabletop, tuck your toes and we're going to lift up into everyone's favourite downward facing dog. A little bit of movement in the hips and heels here, so finding your space in your downward facing dog today. Downward facing dog is a really great space to see where you're at. Feeling tight in the back, feeling like the hamstrings need a little bit of extra, maybe it's the arms that are feeling it today wherever you're at. Press the hands, palms into the earth. Lift up and out of the shoulders, create space between the scapula. Draw the heels down towards the earth as you lengthen the hamstrings. Release tension from the neck. Draw belly to the spine and shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips. Allow yourself to find a little bit of stillness here as you inhale and exhale, two more breaths, inhale and exhale. Put some weight into the hands and gently start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Gentle bend into the knees and this variation of Uttanasana keeps the feet wide at about hip width, just like down the dog. We're going to release the belly down to the thighs. So I'm going to turn side on for this. Take as much bend in the knee as you need and allow the belly to relax down to this deeply nurturing forward fold. Breathe here, release the tension out of the neck. And just be. Two more breaths here in this space. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Gently place the weight back into the hands and feel yourself transfer your weight as you move back to your downward facing dog. Gentle movement of the heels here. Finding length in the arms, drawing the energy from the earth. Creating space between the scapula. Wrapping, almost like you're wrapping the armpits down, the arms down into the armpits. Belly to spine. Heels to earth. Release the head. Two more breaths here. Inhale, gentle gaze forward, bend into the knees and take a few steps forward until you come into Uttanasana, your forward fold. So the feet are together, 
Maybe the toes are touching and there's a little separation between the heels. Totally up to you. Exhale and allow yourself to deeply surrender in this forward fold. So release the head. Maybe you have a gentle bend in the knees. So if you're not all the way into your uh, deep forward fold here, still allow for that bend into the knees. Drop the head and feel the belly to thigh connection. Eventually that will build as you come in all the way into your deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Stay here for another few rounds of breath. Just surrendered and accepting of wherever you are in your forward fold right now. One more round of breath. As you come to your next inhale, roll to rise, a little bend in the knees, roll up, feeling each vertebrae in the spine. Inhale all the way to standing, reach the hands, palms up over the head, press them together. Feel the energetic exchange between the hands, ground the feet into the earth. Maybe even lift the toes, check your balance. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Find your Tadasana. We're going to run through three rounds of sun salutation A. Releasing hands down by the side body. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands, palms, plant. Step back to plank. Hold your plank pose here. A couple of variations for your Chaturanga Dandasana. If you're new to Chaturanga, drop the knees down to the earth. Like a push-up, elbows into the ribs. And come down to hover. Inhale comes through to Urdhva Mukha and you can lift the thighs and the knees and the shins. Exhale, roll back, down the facing dog. Breathing here for three breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale three. Gentle gaze forward, inhale the breath, bend the knees, step or float forward, flat back. You may have the hands down on the earth, you might like to have the hands into the shins to find a little bit more length in the back body. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll to rise. Hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart centre. Hands by the side, round two, sun cell A. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale, hands, palms plant, step to plank. Hold your plank. Chaturanga, variation two, shift the body weight forward, exhale, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, exhale, Ardha Mukha, press back, three rounds of breath here, micro adjustments in your downward facing dog, inhale, exhale, one, press the hands, palms, belly to spine, heels ground, Next inhale breath, gentle bend in the knees, gaze forward, step or float forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll to rise. Hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart centre, hands by the side, last round, sun cell A. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands, palms, press, step back to plank. Full chaturanga, body weight shift forward. Exhale, hover here. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, lift the heart. Exhale, Ardha Mukha, lift the hips, belly to spine. Three breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Step or float forward, flat back. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, roll to rise. Arms lift, hands, palms press, heart lifts, heels ground. Hands to heart centre, take a moment here, breathe and connect. Close down the eyes. Come back to the breath. 
think of one thing that you had in your happiness hunting earlier in our flow. Reconnect with that beautiful thought that brought the smile to your face. Inhale that thought and as you exhale again, share that thought with the world. Sharing that joy, that gratitude, the appreciation, loving kindness, that smile. Just like I said before, we could all use a little bit more joy. It's always better to choose to be optimistic. That choice is yours as a conscious being. Release the hands down by the side, sun salutation B. Coming down into chair pose, Utkatasana, sweep the hands by the floor. Bend into the knees, sit back in the hips. Shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips. So when I say that, I want to find a little bit more length in my lumbar spine. So in order to do that, I'm going to shorten this distance here so I can create that length. Drop down into the hips. See if you can see the toes beyond the knees and reach the hands high. Again, belly to spine, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Gaze towards the fingertips. Inhale, exhale, two. Bring the hands to heart center, deep forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands, palms, plant. Step or float back. Take your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale back, ardha mukha. Straight away, lift to leg. And step forward, coming into Anjaneyasana. Drop that back left knee down to the earth. Inhale and lift the arms high. Reaching here, finding the heart space lifting towards the sky and the hips surrendering. The inhale creates length. The exhale allows you to surrender. Press the back shin into the earth and take that back foot towards the back of the mat. Two more breaths here. Front knee tracks to the midline. One more breath. Grab hold of the left hand. Reach up and over to the right side of the mat. Deep release for the size. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Soften into the hips, one more, inhale, exhale, hands, palms, come down to the mat, tuck the toes of that left foot, step back into plank, take a vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, urdhva mukha, exhale back, ardhva mukha, straight away, lifting into the left leg, exhale, step and plant that foot, Drop that back knee down to the earth, uncurl the toes, press the shin into the earth, inhale, Anjaneyasana, reach high. Lengthen through the body, exhale, surrender. Three more breaths here. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to let go. Track the front knee towards the midline. One more breath. Grab hold of that right hand, stretching up and over, so as stretch to our left side. Deepening the stretch into the right side body. Inhale. Keep that length in the side body. Keep the length in the left side body here. Don't crunch into it. And keep the length in the right side body as you stretch into the psoas and the hips. Exhale. Release both hands down to the mat. Tuck the toes of that back right leg. Step back into your plank. Take a vinyasa. Body weight shift forward. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Ardhva Mukha. Three rounds of breath here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. See if you can find some stillness. Belly to spine. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, gentle gaze forward. We're coming back to Utkatasana. Bend the knees. Step or float forward. Find your chair pose. Lift the hands. In this variation, sit back in the heels. Press the hands, palms together. Lift them a little bit higher, gaze towards the thumbs, twisty to the thumbs, squeeze everything. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Pause for a moment here, take a breath. Release the hands down by the side body. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back and take your vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Ardha Mukha. Inhale, right leg high. Step that foot forward. 
come into crescent lunge. Inhale and lift. Left back leg extended. Draw the ribs towards the hips, so shorten that distance. So instead of just tucking the pelvis, feel like you're drawing the hips down, belly to spine, shorten that distance and feel the lengthening through that left hip flexor. Reaching high in this crescent lunge, lifting that back heel, lengthening through the back left leg. Exhale, left hand, right foot, easy twist. Gaze high towards that hand. Draw the right hip back in space. Even out the hips. Try and lift the belly off that thigh. Shortening the distance between the ribs and the hips. Right knee tracking towards the midline. Lengthening through that back left leg. Two more breaths. Coming back to our crescent lunge. Inhale, use the core and lift. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, back, ardhva mukha. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step that foot to the hand. Inhale, crescent lunge. Hold in here, two or three breaths. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen, you've got this yogi track, that left knee towards the midline. Lift that back right heel, lengthen the leg. Again, shorten the distance, ribs to hips. Pull belly to spine. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Exhale, right hand, left foot, easy twist. Inhale, reach high. Drop the hips down, left hip back in space. Right knee tracks the midline. Lengthen that back left, right leg. Lift the right heel. Reach as high as you can with these fingertips. Gaze towards the sky. Lift the belly off the thigh. Shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips. Deepen that twist, opening the heart space to the sky. Two more breaths. We're going to come back to our crescent lunge. Find strength in the legs. Strength in the core. And lift. Three breaths here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Exhale, hands, palms plant. Step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, back, ardhva mukha. Three breaths here and downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Gentle bend in the knees. Step or float forward, flat back as you inhale. Exhale, deep forward fall. Inhale, roll to rise. Hands, palms, press, heart lifts, heels ground. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hands by the side. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back to plank. Take a vinyasa, shift the body weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urdhva mukha. Exhale, back, ardhva mukha. Hmm. Breathe here. Just be rested in this downward facing dog for just a moment. Little micro adjustments, just feeling little things that you need to do for your practice here on your mat. Inhale, gaze forward, bring the shoulders over the hands. We're just going to do a little twisted plank here. So leave the hands planted where they are, evenly distributed uh, body weight on the hands there. Drop the heels down to the right. Engage the core here, shorten the distance between the ribs and the hips, roll it on over and drop it to the left. Three more of these. This is one. I don't think we're getting out of this lightly. <laughs> this is one. <laughs> this is two. I'm sweating, it feels good. Press the hands, dome through the shoulders. Last set. Twisted plank. Last one. Inhale back to centre. Take a vinyasa or you can take a time out in child's pose, totally up to you. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back, Ardha Mukha. Press back. 
You can take child's pose here if you'd like, dropping the hips back to the heels. You can take the hands by the side body, just creating space in the back here and allowing that lengthening to happen naturally through the spine as the body rests down in child's pose. Lost my sweat towel. sweaty spaghetti here in Bali but it's part of the love of being here so if you're in child's pose tuck the toes and come back into your downward facing dog if you're in downward facing dog <sighs> yay <laughs> lengthen through the back of the legs as you draw the heels down to the earth belly to spine lengthen the back body rack the shoulder blades down towards the armpits press the hands into the earth nothing to think about in yoga right <laughs> inhale shift the body weight forward we're coming into side plank so a couple of variations here if you find this posture tough drop your right knee down to the earth and use this to open and create strength here so this is your variation one I'm just going to turn onto the side so if you were in plank pose here and you want to take a little variation or modification you can drop that knee down to the earth and still find your side plank in this space. If you want to take it a little bit more intense, but you're not all the way in your side plank yet, drop both feet to the side. So you're balancing on the inside edge of the left foot, the knife edge of the right foot, and you can lift from here. If you want to take it a notch up, you can just roll directly onto that right foot and lift. And if you're feeling like, I'm going to come back to my mat so I'm not slipping, you can roll over, take side plank and take a variation, lifting that leg. Exhale, release, and we're going to take that all the way over to the other side. So whatever modification you did on the right, take it on the left. Exhale, pack through plank, side plank. Two more sets to go, wherever you were. Exhale, left hand to the earth, roll it over, keep that activation of the core, lengthen right hand to sky. Exhale, last set, plant that right hand, roll to the right. Exhale, plant that left hand, roll to the left. Last set, come back to your plank pose, take a vinyasa, exhale, chaturanga, inhale. Urdhva Mukha, exhale press back, Ardha Mukha, little bit of a breath here, hands palms press, belly to spine, two more breaths, we're going to come all the way down and jump through to seated, bend into the knees, gentle gaze forward as you inhale and come all the way to seated. So. I love this next exercise. I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm going to turn side on for you. And we're going to come into Ha Navasana. Ah, Navasana. We always say yes to Navasana. We love our every little breath. Okay. Hands, palms up to the sky. Sit bones grounded. Try not to sit back onto the hips here. I want you to sit up so you're actually lengthening through the back body. We're going to lift the left leg, the right leg, both legs, and then we're going to drop down to low boat for one breath. Inhale, exhale, lift back Navasana. Loving it already? We've got five rounds of this. Inhale, exhale, lift the right, exhale, both together, hold, exhale, low boat. Two breaths. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Lift Navasana. Right and lower. Left and lower. Together, hold. Three breaths, low boat. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale three. And lift. <gasps> one, two more rounds to go. Right and lower, left and lower. Together, two, 
three, four, and low. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. And lift. Last set. One. And two. And both together. Five breaths when we hit the earth. Lower back, belly to spine. Five. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. And lift. Extend the feet. Grab the toes, pace fingers around the toes. Lengthen the legs and open the legs. And you're sitting here. This is where I give you a choice. You can either roll forward to Kumasana, turtle pose, or you can roll backwards into happy baby. I don't think anyone's ever said yes to turtle, so I know you're always all going to roll backwards. So very gently allow yourself to roll back and take a happy baby. Tuck the chin into the chest lengthening through the cervical spine. As you inhale the breath, allow the body to fill with fresh oxygen. As you exhale, see if you can draw the tailbone towards the front of your mat so you're lengthening through the spine. Oh, the eventual outcome is that the entire spine is connected down to the earth. All this while we're pulling the knees in towards the armpits. Four more breaths here. A little gentle hip, hip opening feels good. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, four. And release. I'm just going to shuffle on my mat a little bit here. And we're going to come into a variation of pigeon pose, which is figure four. So hips and heels are friends here. My heels are just a few centimeters from my butt cheeks. I'm gonna take this right leg up and over the left. Lift my left foot, wrap my hands around the inside of my knee, and the elbow is gonna press into that right knee. Head and shoulders are gonna remain connected to the earth. And I'm going to gently pull that left knee back towards my chest. As this knee pulls back, this left knee, or the upward knee, pulls back towards the chest, my right elbow is pressing into my right adductor here. And that's going to give me just a little bit more opening or external rotation of that right hip. Stretching into my piriformis. And this stretch feels quite lovely. I'm going to take three more breaths here. Exhale and release that down to the earth. Swap it on over, other side, left foot on top of the right knee. External rotation of this left femur here as we bring that right foot up off the earth. Arms go inside and wrap around the inside of that leg. Left elbow presses into the left thigh, the adductor there, to give you a little bit more opening into that left leg. Um, is the left leg high? I don't, I don't really think that you need to do that in this space. It's not, we're not targeting the hamstring in this leg. Uh, we're actually targeting the piriformis, so uh, you don't need to have that leg high. I do advise tucking the chin into the chest so you can feel that lengthening through the cervical spine. That's nice. And as you exhale, deepening that stretch by pulling gently back in towards the chest. And of course, that left elbow pressing into the left leg there, feeling that opening in the hips. And of course, the tailbone drawing back down towards the earth and the whole spine flattening to the ground. Two more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two. And release both feet down to the earth. We're going to work into bridge pose. So hands planted by uh, the feet or by the hips to start. 
we're going to do a little roll through this space so a little wave through the spine so we're going to start this in the hips so start to peel the hips off the earth the lower back eventually the shoulders come up and you're going to lift as though you're lifting your heart up and over the face or the head towards the back of the mat and then as you exhale trying to work through all of the vertebrae coming down and the last thing to come down after that lower back is the tailbone, the sacrum. So we're going to do that two more times, this wave or roll through the back body. Inhale as you peel the hips and the whole back body off the earth. Exhale, allow the body to roll back down, feeling each and every vertebrae section by section. It's not an easy ask, last around. Inhale, peel the body up off the earth. Exhale, drawing all the way back down. If you start to think about it, it actually becomes a nice little personal challenge. This next round, we're going to come up and hold. So press your feet into the earth. Make sure the knees are tracking towards the midline here. Don't let them fall out to the side. Hands, palms pressing. Peel the body up off the earth. And this time interlacing the hands underneath the back body, squirreling the shoulders together, tucking chin into the chest, sending the heart high up over the head. Feet press, hips lift. One more breath here. And last one. Exhale, rolling all the way down. Just a gentle touch of the knees together, the feet can stay out as wide as the mat. Two rounds of breath here. Inhale and exhale. I'm just going to bring the knees into the chest. Roll over to the side and bring yourselves up to seated. We're just going to take a couple of stretches here before we hit our Shavasana. So this first one is Paschimottanasana, our deep forward fold. Um, so uh, if you're very flexible, you can reach the toes. Um, if you're not as flexible, you can grab your trusty little sweat towel and you can pop that around the end of your feet. Um, completely up to you in this stretch. What I do want you to do is think about grounding the sit bones into the earth belly towards the spine so there is core activation in this posture lengthening through the back body but dropping the shoulders down and back and a gentle tuck of the chin towards the chest toes come back towards the face and the back of the legs press into the earth you're going to inhale lift the heart space and gently start to walk the hands towards the leg keep the length in the spine it's almost as though you are wanting to send the hips towards the back of the room keep peeling these little guys these pinky toes back towards the face as you inhale lengthen the back body as you exhale allow yourself to surrender three more breaths here wherever you are in this space inhale lengthen exhale surrender one more breath inhale to lengthen exhale surrender tuck the chin into the chest drop the head and just be. Gentle gaze forward to the toes, hands, palms press into the earth. We're going to walk the body back up. A little counter pose for our Paschimottanasana. I'll turn the side on for you. Lengthen the legs, point the toes away. The hands. Plant down into the earth with the fingertips towards the butt cheeks. Start to point the toes away, press the hands into the earth and lift the hips. Inhale, drop the head back as you exhale. Hold here for five, four, three, two and one. Exhale and release, coming all the way back down to seated. Draw your right leg in towards your left. So it's variation of uh, Shasana. So this is like a tree pose here. We really want to try and, we're kind of pressing this foot into the thigh and opening up through 
this hip here. Try and ground both sit bones into the earth. So we don't want to lift this hip up. See how I've created space under my butt cheek here? We want to actually keep that grounded and connected into the earth. So it's almost like you're pulling the sit bones back towards the back of your mat as you activate the body in this space. Just as we did in Paschimottanasana, inhale and lengthen through the back body. Start to walk before you start to walk the hands. Have that sensation of a gentle twist over towards your straightened leg. So instead of just folding forward in this space, you're actually going to lift up out of the hips so that separation of the ribs from the hips and then start to walk towards your extended leg. So it doesn't matter how deep you get here. Just try and think of those sit bones grounding and reaching back towards the back of the mat. Oh, that was a nice little elbow into the bird. Awesome. Inhale, lengthen. My pain threshold is very high right now. Exhale and release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. See if you can find a little surrender in this space. You might like to wrap the hand around the outside of the leg. That might give you a little bit more of a twist here. One more breath. See if you can find a little surrender here. Both hips grounding down into the earth. Hands plant. Gently walk the body back. Counter for this is a little baby twist. So we're going to take left hand to the right knee. Inhale, lengthen through the back body. Exhale, deepen that twist again. See the movement in my hips here? I'm going to want to keep this left hip grounded towards the earth. Press that right knee down. Inhale. This right hand is literally like a splint down my spine, almost like a second spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen the twist. So try and keep those hips grounded, pulling that left hip back in space. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. And coming back to centre, swap the legs over. One side's going to be the fun side, and one side's going to be the not so fun side. For me right now, this is my not so fun side. A little burn on my leg there. It's not that little, right? <laughs> it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games. Right. So, left foot into the right thigh. Opening of that left knee, that rotation of the hip here. Hands are by the legs. This is where we inhale a breath, lengthen through the body, ground both of those hips, slight turn towards that extended leg, and then start to walk the body forward. So my advice to you here is don't rush into the pose. Like I know in our Ashtanga practice, it's like get down and you have to be there because you want to hold that for the five breaths. But we're not in a strict Ashtanga posture right now. So what I want you to do is inhale a breath and as you exhale, allow yourselves to come down and explore the posture. This is where I talk about people being yogi explorers and we're exploring our own bodies and finding a reconnection to the physical self that perhaps we'd lost for a little while. And we re really need to recultivate that body to breath connection and some of these forward folds and these slower held postures are a really great way to cultivate that. So as you inhale, lengthen through the back body and as you exhale, allow yourself to ground and surrender, going a little deeper with each breath and you'll be amazed at the results as you continue to work into the space. Maybe you need a little adjustment, maybe you're gonna find that deepening of that twist and eventually come down into the space. And for me, this is my not so, not so fun side uh, and I'm completely loving this right now because both my hips are grounded and I'm really feeling the lengthening happening through my left side body. And with each breath I take the inhale and the exhale allowing me to go a little deeper. So as you come back up out of this stretch, walk the hands back, a little counter twist, right hand, left knee, my left hand is split into my spine and I'm gazing over my left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Exhale and release. So we're going to come all the way down to the mat for a little supine twist here. And then we're going to hit Shavasana. Yep, the bottom's knee root. So lying down onto the back. And you can bring the knees into the belly. Give yourselves a little hug here. There's a variation of this posture that I like to use called cosmic egg. 
And this is very similar, just a slightly different gravitational force here. So bring the forehead to the knees and then allow the spine to rest down on the floor. Tuck the chin into the chest. Roll the body all the way over to the right side. Allow the arms to open, take an inhale breath. And as you exhale, gaze towards that back left hand. Leave these knees on the mat close into the belly. Swipe the flies away. Try and ignore them as you release and find a little bit of respite in this supine twist. Deep belly breaths. Exhale and surrender. One more breath. Inhale, knees come into the chest. A little bit of a roll around here, a bit of roly-poly, recalibration of the spine. Maybe a little hug. And roll on over to the other side. Extend the arms, inhale the breath. As you exhale, gaze towards that open hand or away from the legs. Knees into the chest, feeling that twist into the back. If you want to add on a little bit more here, you can cactus the arm. I'm just going to slightly deepen the twist. And feel free to take any variations here that you are compelled to do. As yogi explorers, I'm never going to stop you from exploring a pose that you would feel compelled, that your body is requesting of you. Two more breaths here. Inhale and come back to centre. Give yourselves a little rock and roll. And then we're going to come into Shavasana. Allowing my body to completely relax. Shoulders down on the earth, hands, palms facing up to the sky. My feet at the side of the mats, just allowing my feet to roll out to the side. Gentle press of my elbows into the earth so I can tuck my shoulder blades underneath. Slightly the chin comes into the chest. Deep inhale breath. <sighs> Sigh and surrender. If you can, spend the next 10 minutes here in Shavasana. If you're in quarantine, you've got nothing but time. If you're in Bali, it's our second day of Nippi, and so there's a little bit of ISO happening here as well. And it's not altogether unpleasant. Stay away from the internet. Stay away from Instagram. Just take a little adult time out here on your mat. Breathe and be. This is where all the juicy stuff happens after practice. Just breathe and be. If a thought comes into your mind, ask yourself if it's worthy of this time and space. If it's not, just allow yourself to be surrendered in this meditation.
you are welcome to stay longer in your Shavasana. In fact, I highly encourage it. Stay for as long as you possibly can. If you are ready to come out, gentle movement in the fingers and toes. Maybe take the arms up over the head for a long stretch. Gently roll onto your side, using the hands as a pillow for the head. Rest here for a moment. Keeping the eyes closed, a reminder of this childlike state of joy, fearlessness, courageousness, fun, adventure, optimism, plans for the future. Keep your eyes closed as you press yourself back into Sukhasana, your easy seated pose. Bring the hands to heart centre, gentle humble bow of the head. Perhaps this is the universe's way. Just putting us all on a time out for quiet reflection. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace in the heart, peace in the head, peace in the home. Peace on the planet, peace in the universe. Peace to anyone that's feeling any anxiety. We're all in this together. And we're better in this together as peaceful warriors. Thank you for joining me in collective practice today. Have a beautiful day, yogis. Namaste.